Let's memorize a list of things you'd find in the jungle. Let's see, we've got trees, shrubs, leaves, twigs, maybe some water. But what about abandoned planes, magical hotel rooms, and secret Nazi hideaways? Now, those aren't what you were expecting, are they? From shocking booby traps to the eighth wonder of the world, here are 20 strangest things found in jungles. Number 20. An abandoned Boeing 737 in Bali. Man finds plane hidden in jungle, but when he looks inside, it's not uncommon to see planes at airports, but it's perhaps less common to see a giant Boeing 737 lying in the middle of nowhere a few miles from an airport. A random plane has been casually hanging out on Bukit Peninsula's southern coast in Bali since 2007 and is a stone's throw from the Nururai International Airport. It's also just a five-minute drive from Pandawa Beach, which means tourists can casually wander over to see it at their leisure. Perhaps even more strange about seeing a large plane surrounded by trees is knowing that no locals know how it got there. No one remembers it flying in and no one knows why it was abandoned in the clearing. The plane is on private land, which means you have to pay a fee to see it. But surely someone didn't just plop it there as a tourist attraction. Rumor has it that someone purchased the plane, which doesn't have any branding to show which airline it might have been from, to turn it into a restaurant for tourists. That would make sense, since Bali welcomes tens of thousands of visitors annually. But some people speculate that they ran out of money and left the plane with a few shipping containers and a shabby hut surrounding it to rot away. If you have Google Earth Pro, you might have noticed that the plane now looks different. As of 2021, some parts of the aircraft have been dismantled and removed, with the fuselage now sitting closer to the road. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Magic Mountain Hotel in Chile. Watch any movie in which the main actors become lost in a jungle and you generally find them huddling together at night with a few leaves to keep warm. But if you were lost in the 300,000 acre Wilo Wilo Biological Reserve in Chile, you might just stumble across the Magic Mountain Hotel. The name is very fitting for this hotel since it'll be unlike anything you've ever seen before, especially not in a forest. The hotel is volcano shaped, covered in moss, and has a beautiful waterfall coming from the top of it. Unlike more centrally located hotels and motels, you can't just drive up to this one and park your car out the front. It's only accessible on foot by cable bridge, so you'll likely be lugging your bags a fair distance. But trust me when I tell you, it'll be worth it. You're in for a real treat when you arrive at the Magic Mountain Hotel. Alongside having a luxurious room to call yours, starting from 220 bucks per night, you'll also be able to enjoy the rainforest, lagoons, hot springs, lakes, and mountains. There are also plenty of fun activities to do during your stay, such as horseback riding, skiing, sailing, rafting, fishing, hiking, and mini golf. Tired of adventuring? Retreat to the Magic Mountain Hotel for a sauna, a dip in the heated pool, or a relaxing soak in the spa or hot tub. Number 18. A Secret Nazi Hideaway in the Andean Jungle at stone buildings tucked away in the middle of the Andean jungle in Argentina could cause so much drama and speculation. Some say they were settlements established by Jesuit missionaries, while others believe Nazis created them to use as hideaways to escape the collapse of the Third Reich. To be fair, there's evidence to suggest both options. The general theory is that when Soviet tanks entered Berlin in 1945, Adolf Hitler and his wife, Eva Braun, used a secret tunnel to escape their 
underground bunker. They left behind the bodies of two people that looked like them to trick the Allies into thinking they took their own lives rather than admitting defeat. By the time the bodies were found, Adolf and Eva were flying out of Europe, bound for Argentina to live out the rest of their lives in the jungles of South America. And then you get this stone building discovery, and the rumor takes on a life of its own. But while some news sources report the buildings as a new discovery, they actually aren't. They've been open to the public for decades and date back to the 17th and 18th centuries rather than the 1940s. However, there's a tourist board sign outside of the structures stating they're part of a Jesuit site with Adolf Hitler's servants having refurbished and inhabited them in the 1950s. Number 17. A Humpback Whale in the Amazon you can come across many unexpected things in the Amazon. After all, the Amazon rainforest is 2.587 million square miles. But out of all creatures you expect to find, a humpback whale is probably next to last on your list. However, a 36-foot-long humpback whale is exactly what an organization working on Marajo Island found mere feet from the Amazon River's mouth in February 2019. According to wildlife experts, the humpback whale was a puppy, no more than a year old, and it certainly was in a strange place. They don't believe it swam there or anything crazy like that. They think it was already dead and washed ashore during high tides, only to come to a rest in the mangroves in the unique location. Marine expert Renata Amin said they weren't 100% sure how it landed there, but they're hazarding a guess that it was floating close to the shore when the tide picked it up and threw it inland. But a humpback whale in the Amazon isn't even the only unusual thing. Thing. Experts are also confused about what the whale was doing on Brazil's north coast. They aren't usually there at that time of the year. And its cause of death has a big question mark next to it, too. Biologists wondered whether the calf became tangled in the mangroves after high waves threw it to shore. But other experts suggest it swallowed marine plastics and its body washed inland. Number 16 booby traps. Okay, so technically, booby traps weren't found in the jungle, at least not in this case. But they were still found in a natural environment, so that still counts, right? And you'll want to hear this story. A U.S. Forest Service officer was navigating the very popular Big Springs Trail in Provo Canyon, south of Salt Lake City, when they stumbled across a tripwire on the ground. Now, that was unusual enough, but the worst was yet to come. Upon further investigation, they discovered potentially deadly booby traps consisting of sharpened sticks and rocks that had the potential to cause severe and even fatal injuries to anyone who accidentally stumbled across them and set off the tripwires. According to Utah County Sheriff Sergeant Spencer Cannon, a lot of planning appeared to go into the booby traps, and they were not set up as an afterthought. He said it would have taken a long time to carve the sticks. One of the booby traps was a spike consisting of a large rock weighing around 200 pounds with sticks around the outside. It was hung from a tree and would swing toward a hiker if they tripped the wire. There were also six sharpened sticks inserted into the ground with a wire set up near them to potentially cause someone to fall onto the sharpened sticks. Fortunately, investigators were able to use Facebook to track down people familiar with the fort site surrounding the booby traps. Two men, a 19-year-old and a 21-year-old, were arrested on suspicion of misdemeanor reckless endangerment but ended up being charged with third-degree felony aggravated assault. Number 15. A Giant Stone Head in Guatemala in the late 1980s, a Guatemalan lawyer, notary, ufologist, conspiracy theorist, and doctor of philosophy received a strange photo that he found hard to explain. It was a picture of a giant stone head in a jungle, and with it was a note that said it was found in a rainforest in Guatemala by a landowner in the 1950s. A stone head in the jungle is unusual enough, but this one had a very Caucasian-like appearance with thin lips and a large, sharp nose. It was 
nothing like pre-Hispanic races native to the Americas, and its age meant native people who built it wouldn't have had contact with any outsiders. He became obsessed with finding it and believed it could be evidence of contact with otherworldly beings or a lost civilization. Finally, he discovered where the head was, a few miles from a small village in South Guatemala, but his search was all for nothing. Anti-government rebels had disfigured and partially destroyed it, and the 13 to 20 foot head was missing its nose, mouth, and eyes. According to American archaeologist Lee Parsons, it was made of soft volcanic pumice by a farmer in the mid-1930s as a tribute to his wife, who had died. It just looked older than it was because the volcanic rock is porous. Not everyone bought this theory, and some people thought it was some big conspiracy cover-up about an ancient lost white race. Number 14. Lost City in Cambodian Jungle If you thought we had discovered every hidden structure or city there is to find, you'd be wrong. We're only just getting started. In 2015, archaeologists used cutting-edge airborne laser scanning technology to find multiple medieval cities in Cambodia, a stone's throw from the ancient temple city of Angkor Wat. It's believed that these discoveries would change parts of what we know about Southeast Asian history. According to findings in the Journal of Archaeological Science, the technology archaeologists used allowed them to identify cities dating back 900 to 1,400 years underneath the tropical forest floor. Some were as large as the capital of Cambodia, Phnom Penh. The study covered 734 square miles and showed densely populated cities that would have made the largest empire in the world when it was around back in the 12th century. They basically discovered a street map for an entire city, which is wild when all you can see above ground are trees and plant life. Experts don't think tourists will be flocking to see what's essentially just lumps and bumps in the earth but there's potential for them to excavate parts of these exciting cities in the future. Number 13. A Carbon Sink in Central Congo Basin According to a study in the Nature Journal from 2017, there's a colossal swamp forest in Central Africa with enough carbon to equal at least 20 years' worth of fossil fuel emissions from the United States. Known as the Congo Basin Peatland, it's bigger than New York State and within the last 11,000 years has collected about 30 billion metric tons of carbon. And can you believe that five years before the discovery in 2017, most scientists weren't even aware of the existence of the swamp? Now, the 56,000 square mile swamp is thought to be the largest tropical peatland in the world. Peatland consists of wet, partially decomposed plant materials that build up over several thousand years. This type of soil covers about 3% of the Earth's surface and has more carbon than all trees and plants combined. Because they lock in so much carbon, the destruction of peatlands is a massive climate risk. And that's no exaggeration. When the peatland fires broke out in 2015 in Indonesia, they became the fourth biggest greenhouse gas emitter for the year. And when farmers are trained and clearing peatland in Malaysia and Indonesia, they're allowing the equivalent of emissions from 70 coal plants to escape into the atmosphere. Number 12. Siguria in Sri Lanka who would have thought that a rock formation would be called the eighth wonder of the world? But Siguria, also known as Lion's Rock in Sri Lanka, is no ordinary rock. It is a monolithic rock formation integral to Sri Lanka's ancient history. It consists of an ancient fortress and palace ruin connected to the remains of gardens and reservoirs. There's also a lion's mouth made from brick and plaster with staircases emerging from it. Poems inscribed on parts of the rocks date back to the 6th century and are believed to be some of the oldest examples of written Sinhalese. Realizing the importance, the Sri Lankan government launched the Cultural Triangle Project in 1982, focusing mainly on Sigiriya. As archaeologists started working on it, they learned that there was once a sculpted lion's head above the legs and paws, and the face of the hill would have been a considerable painting gallery with paintings covering most of the western face. However, the pictures were covered when the palace became a monastery to avoid disturbing meditation. Today, Sigiriya is one of the most well-preserved examples of ancient urban planning. Number 11. Largest flower in the world in Sumatra rainforests. 
If you thought the flowers in your garden were impressive, just wait till you see Reflesia arnoldii, also known as giant padma and corpse flower. This flowering plant is known to produce the largest flower on Earth and is native to Borneo and Sumatra rainforests. But as impressive as the flower is, you most likely won't mind that you don't have any flowers in your garden to rival it. In fact, you wouldn't even want to visit your garden if you had the giant padma. Not only is it giant, but it also stinks. It smells like decaying flesh and something awful rotting. It is downright terrible. Despite its smell, it is a national flower in Indonesia and has been recognized as a rare flower. It was first found by French explorer Louis Auguste de Champ. He collected a sample in 1797 and wrote papers and notes about it. Sadly, at the time, France was at war with Britain and his ship was taken by the British. His notes were confiscated and lost for a long time until they turned up for sale in 1860 and ended up in the British Museum of Natural History. They were then lost again and were rediscovered at the museum in the 1950s. These notes are important because the plant is absurd and it would be interesting to learn what early discoverers thought of it. It's a vascular plant without visible leaves, roots, and stems, and they don't have chlorophyll. Instead, they're a bit like fungi and grow as thread-like tissue strands while making contact with surrounding host cells to gain water and nutrients. They can grow up to about 3.3 feet wide, weigh up to 24 pounds, and and have cabbage-like buds growing up to 12 inches wide. Number 10. El Mirador in Guatemala El Mirador in El Petén, Guatemala is a pre-Columbian Maya settlement dating back to the middle pre-classic times. Claudio Rutia surveyed part of the Mirador Basin in 1885 and noted there were ruins there, but very few people paid attention to them until the first maps of the area were made in the 1960s by Ian Graham. A detailed investigation started in the late 1970s with emphasis placed on mapping, bajo swamps, and excavation of architecture and the site center. However, archaeology Archaeologists were surprised to learn that what they were excavating wasn't contemporary, as it was with classic sites like Wak Suk Tun and Tikal. Instead, they uncovered cities from hundreds of years earlier in the pre-classic era. It's believed that the lost city of El Mirador was at its peak from the 6th century BCE to the 1st century CE, and it may have been at its height of success in the 3rd century BCE. However, it appears to have experienced a construction hiatus followed by possible abandonment for generations before reoccupation in the late Classic era. It was then permanently abandoned by the 9th century. So far, archaeologists have discovered a site spanning 10 square miles with thousands of structures and monumental architecture up to 236 feet high. Now, you might be curious as to why such a large city would suddenly be abandoned. Well, it's believed that deforestation was to blame. The soil became loose and easy to transport by water, and water would only flow downhill to swamps. The nutrient-rich soil became buried under sterile clay, and farmers couldn't replenish their crop fields. Failing crop fields would have led to starvation and societal collapse. Number 9. Mary Coxy in South America North America has Sasquatches, or so many people think. But could there be a South American version of them called Mary Coxy? There just might be. Mary Coxy is the word used to describe ape-like creatures that people have supposedly seen in jungles in South America. Some people believe they might be an undiscovered tribe, while others think they're cryptids, which are non-proven animals like Sasquatch or the Loch Ness Monster. According to British explorer Colonel Percival Fawcett, who claimed to have encountered a group of them in 1914 while mapping South American jungles, they were hairy, used bows and arrows, and lived in villages. They also used grunting to speak and lived northeast of the Maksubi tribe. According to reports, Maricoxi grew up to 12 feet tall and appeared reasonably primitive but were also quite intelligent. In saying that, they were also believed to be aggressive. Percival said they were hostile towards him and his men and tried to attack them. However, they were scared by the sounds of gunfire, so they were able to scare them away by firing their guns into the ground. Percival and his men disappeared while on an expedition to discover a lost city. Common theories are that local tribes or the Maricoxi killed them or they died of starvation.
Number 8. A Mysterious Ring in the Amazon Take a trip through the Bolivian and Brazilian Amazon and you might stumble across unique square and circle ditches. It's unknown what they were used for, but some people believe they might have been used for drainage, ceremonies, or religious purposes. Interestingly, research suggests that the mysterious rings and squares might have actually predated the rainforests. For several years, archaeologists believed that indigenous people who lived in the Amazon barely impacted the landscape during their time there, but they now realize that's not entirely true. Due to deforestation from the 1980s onward, vast amounts of earthworks, like ditches up to 16 feet deep and wide, have now been found. It's thought that the forest moved in around the trenches, meaning they were there long before the trees were. Number 7. Rock Formations in Thailand National Forest If you're ever on holiday in Thailand, many locals recommend visiting the Bueng Khan province in northwest Thailand, separated from Laos by the Mekong River. Here, you'll get to enjoy stunning landscapes, bird sanctuaries, waterfalls, hilltop pagodas, and wild forests. But you'll also get to see Hin Sam Wan, also known as the Three Whale Rock. And what a standout attraction it is in the Fisang National Park, which is already well known for its many caves, bamboo forests, waterfalls, and hot springs. The Three Whale Rock is a rock formation formed about 75 million years ago that looks like two adult whales and a baby whale. Due to the danger of the cliffs, you're only allowed to venture to the heads of the two whales, which are often referred to as mom and dad. The smaller mountain, or whale, is too narrow, so you can't climb it. However, get to the mom and dad whales, and you're in for a treat. Once above them, you can see the Mekong River and spectacular scenery for miles. Number 6. Stone Spheres in Costa Rica Costa Rica is well known for its beautiful beaches and tropical rainforests. However, it's also become well known for its stone spheres in recent years. Yeah, people are visiting Costa Rica to see some rocks, but they're no ordinary rocks, no siree. They are stone balls dating back to the Chiriki period between AD 800 and 1500. In the early 1930s, the United Fruit Company was looking for the perfect spot to grow a banana plantation. They found an excellent plot of land in the Diquis Valley near the Pacific Ocean in Costa Rica's west. Workers started clearing the jungle and found weird stone spheres measuring from just a few inches in diameter to as wide as 7 feet and weighing up to 16 tons. And then the speculation started. Some people thought aliens brought them to Earth, while others thought they might have links to Atlantis, the lost continent. We kind of got more accurate answers in the 1930s and 40s when scientific studies got underway. The measurements showed that the stones were close to perfect spheres and were most likely handmade by the ancient people of Dikis Valley. They were sculpted from granodiorite and might have been used for several different purposes, such as compasses, astronomical phenomenon, status symbols, or to mark the properties of ancient leaders. Number 5. The Real Tarzan in Vietnam was there a real-life Tarzan living in the forests of Vietnam? Basically, yes. In 2013, people from a village found an 82-year-old man and his 41-year-old son about 24 miles into the jungle. They had lived there for the last 40 years since American troops bombed their home. Po Van Tan's wife and two children. Only he and his infant son survived. To keep themselves safe, they escaped into the jungle and were living in a treehouse since 1971. Ho could only speak a little bit of the core ethnic minority language, and his son, Ho Van Long, could only say a few words. While Ho could barely walk, his son was considered to be in good health. Although he looked disheveled, thin, and was wearing nothing but a loincloth. The pair had lived about 20 feet off the ground in their treehouse by a stream and had made their own tools like arrows, axes, and knives. They had even used tree bark to make 
make pairs of pants and survived on corn and wild leaves. They also farmed a one hectare sugarcane field, grew their own tobacco to smoke, and had a fire in their treehouse to keep warm. What Hovantan didn't know was that his other son, Hovan Tree, who was born the same day as the bombing, had also survived and was rescued by his uncle. Hovan Tree had actually tracked down his brother and father two decades before the villagers discovered the pair, but they couldn't be convinced to come home. Number 4. The Lost City of Giants in the Ecuador Amazonian Jungle Giants aren't real. Can you imagine sharing an average-sized home with a giant? It would be impossible. But were they once real? Well, they could have been. Explorers and researchers discovered an ancient pyramid complex in a remote part of the Ecuador Amazonian jungle in 2012. Before their discovery, it was not known about internationally or even within the country. According to research author Bruce Fenton, the complex they found could be the lost city of the giants, which was named after the strange large tools found nearby. At the time, local legends surrounded a race of giant humans who used to live there. At the site, the explorers also found massive pyramid-like structures with inclined walls and large stone blocks on 262-foot stone bases. They also found a large hill with a flat area containing artifacts. To them, it looked like a paved wall or an ancient street with a roof of a large structure. They appeared to be made by human hands. Most of the artifacts they found were large stone tools so heavy and big that most normal-sized humans would have found them challenging to use. This is what made them suspect that it was one of the lost cities of the giants. Number 3. The Boiling River in the Amazon I love a hot, steaming bath as much as the next person, but the boiling river in Amazon is perhaps not a place you'd take a dip. It's an Amazon River tributary known as the Chenay Timpishka or Labamba and is described as the only known boiling river in the world. The four-mile-long body of water has temperatures ranging from 113 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, and it would be very uncomfortable to dip your feet into. The river is situated within the Mayan Tujaku Sanctuary sanctuary within the Huanuco High Forest, which is inhabited by the Ashaninka community. Shamans in this community think the water's boiling because it was birthed by Yakumama, a large serpent spirit called the Mother of the Waters. In reality, it's hot because it's geothermal. Number 2. Zombie Fungus in Asia Plants and fungi always look sweet and innocent, but you wouldn't be saying that about the cordyceps. This fungus can be found worldwide, but nearly all 400 species are in tropical parts of Asia, like Thailand, China, Japan, Nepal, Korea, and Vietnam. And some of them are truly awful in how they treat innocent insects. When ants in particular come into contact with the cordyceps spores, they are immediately under their control. Somehow, the spores infect the insects and control what the ants do. They make them climb foliage as far as possible before making the ants secure themselves to a twig or leaf. Eventually, they die and the fungus sprouts from the now-deceased ants' heads. Eventually, a long stem will form over a period of weeks until more spores will burst out fall to the ground and be picked up by other ants. But ants are intelligent. If they know another ant has been infected, they take it out of the colony and dump it elsewhere to prevent it from infecting other ants. Number 1. The Lost City of the Monkey God in the Mosquitia Rainforest the Honduran Mosquitia in northeastern Honduras is a large, protected area and one of Central America's least explored parts of lowland rainforest. Because it's primarily unexplored, not much is known about the 865,000-acre site. But when researchers visited the region in 2012, they found something pretty exciting. The ruins of an urban settlement believed to represent the legendary Ciudad Blanca, or White City. Researchers have been looking for this city for at least a century. 
century. It was believed to be buried somewhere within the La Mosquitia region and was a dedication to the pre-Columbian monkey god deity. They discovered an area it could be in in 2015 and American explorer Theodore Mord subsequently unearthed thousands of artifacts. Scientists now think the site could have been home to many more ancient cities yet to be discovered. Their topographical research also suggests that at least 60,000 roads, houses, palaces, and ceremonial buildings could be buried in the woodlands. You might expect to see plenty of trees while exploring a jungle, but you definitely wouldn't expect to find lost structures from ancient communities and even lost cities. How would you react if you stumbled across any of these things in the jungle? I'd feel a bit like Indiana Jones. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!